For a number of years, the helicopter has become essential for electrical network work sites, primarily at times of emergency intervention or to reach inaccessible locations. With the arrival of the powerful state-of-the-art Super Puma EC-225, the advantages of helicopter operations are no longer only allocated to extreme situations. From now on, the helicopter has become an industrial solution for the construction of power lines. Right down to the foundations, working in cooperation with the subcontracting company, the helicopter can intervene with the transportation of heavy materials on operating sites, conduct concrete load rotation, or participate with the drilling of micropiles. At Cure or Super Puma, RTE chooses the best adapted, most cost-saving helicopter type. On electrical lines of 90,000 volts, the powerful lifting capacity of the Super Puma, more than four tons, enables a pylon to be positioned in just one operation. For electrical lines with a higher voltage level, the heavier pylons are cut into sections, then assembled together. Due to the specially machined parts for helicopter assembly, there is normally no requirement for human intervention on the pylon during the intervention. In addition, risks linked to working under heavy loads are considerably reduced. Any pylon can be adapted for helicopter intervention with respect to European standards thanks to special technology developed by RTE. Furthermore, the assembly systems require very few extra parts, therefore reducing labor costs and time consumption required for removal. The helicopter can also intervene in the laying down of electrical power lines with efficiency and speed. In situations of line replacement, the helicopter technique for ground cable positioning followed by non-assistant assembly is patented by RTE. Concerning the unwinding technique, the Ertelis EC-225 is unique in Europe, being equipped with a system to control the angle of the sling device. By informing the pilot on a permanent basis of the cable position, it ensures security is guaranteed for equipment during interventions. Developed by Airbus Helicopter Division and certified by the European Aviation Safety Agency, this technology allows for the implementation of unwinding interventions in complete security in accordance with rules in force. The two EC-225 models are thus the only helicopters authorized to carry out unwinding techniques in Europe. Due to the helicopter's in-flight cost efficiency, all factors should be combined to optimize its use. Concerning helicopter work sites, organization must therefore be aimed towards helicopter optimization. The quantity of equipment taken to assembly sites can be reduced. Limited and smaller means of access limit the environmental impact during construction. To facilitate operations with regard to worksite preparation and execution of works, RTE Helicopter Department has its own work supervisors aware of the difficulties of both electrical and aeronautical interventions. This dual knowledge is synonymous with experienced pilots having effective levels of communication with ground personnel. Moving ahead with innovation projects such as bubble doors, designs for the decrease in helicopter weight, wing mirrors, or glass cargo doors. The time saved with helicopter interventions can be considerable. For the Contenton Main 400,000 volt project involving 163 kilometers of electrical lines in the west of France, intervention duration was cut short by at least six months. In years to come, managers will have to widen their networks to integrate new energy sources. By accelerating construction projects, reducing their environmental impact and reinforcement of security levels for workers, the helicopter will increase their acceptance. Thanks to advances in industrialization, the construction of electrical lines by means of a helicopter can reduce expenditure to that of a standardized construction. The expertise of the RTE helicopter department is able to determine with precision the interventions which could be of benefit.